When your Vasani portable air conditioner compressor won't turn on, there are several basic troubleshooting steps you can take before calling a technician. First, ensure your unit is properly plugged into a working electrical outlet. Check that the circuit breaker hasn't tripped and test the outlet with another device. Examine the power cord for any visible damage. Some Vasani models have a power supply cord with test and reset buttons. The reset button must be pushed in for proper operation. If the cord is damaged, it must be replaced by a qualified technician. Ensure the thermostat is set to cool mode and the temperature setting is lower than the current room temperature. A faulty thermostat might need replacement. Many portable air conditioners have a safety feature that prevents the compressor from starting if the water collection tank is full. Empty the tank completely to resolve this issue. Dirty air filters restrict airflow, causing the compressor to overheat and shut down. Clean the air filters with mild soap and water regularly, at least every two weeks. Ensure the exhaust hose is correctly installed, free of kinks or blockages, and not sagging. Proper ventilation prevents the compressor from overheating and ensures efficient operation. These basic troubleshooting steps resolve most common issues with Vasani portable air conditioner compressors. Work through this checklist systematically before considering more advanced diagnostics. If basic troubleshooting doesn't resolve the issue, the next step is inspecting and cleaning the condenser and evaporator coils. Dust buildup on these coils restricts airflow and causes the compressor to overheat. Pay special attention to cleaning the air filters thoroughly. Dirty filters are a common cause of compressor problems and should be cleaned with mild soap and water at least every two weeks. A faulty capacitor or starter relay can prevent the compressor from starting. These components provide the electrical boost needed to start the compressor. Testing requires a multimeter, but repairs should only be done by qualified technicians. Check for refrigerant leaks by looking for oily residue around pipes and fittings. This oily substance indicates a refrigerant leak, which requires immediate professional service as it involves specialized equipment and safety considerations. Try restarting the system by turning the unit off for 30 seconds, then back on. If error codes appear on the display, refer to your owner's manual or call a certified technician for diagnosis. Call a certified technician if the compressor still won't start after these checks, if you see error codes, or for any refrigerant-related issues. Regular monthly filter cleaning and coil maintenance can prevent many of these problems from occurring.